My dear good people of Oyo State, I'm addressing you today because of the prevailing conditions in our state and country that have led to protests and riots, especially in Ibadan. First, let me say that I understand the need for this protest. When citizens get pushed to the wall, there's only so much that they can take. The continuous fuel scarcity and the scarcity of the Naira have led to slow economic activities. I must repeat, I understand and I feel your pain. I've always maintained that peaceful protests are fine. When things are not going how we want them to go, we have a right and even a responsibility to protest. Let me also state that while we're protesting, we must remember how easily a peaceful protest can turn violent and lead to the loss of lives and property. The violence that erupted in parts of Ibadan today is condemnable and will not be tolerated. In response to this, I have suspended all campaign activities forthwith. I have also met with the heads of security agencies in Oyo State to restore calm and maintain the peace in our dear state. Violence cannot and will not solve our problems. It only creates new ones. We have another opportunity in a few weeks to move this country in a new direction. Use your PVC, not violence. We must not allow elements within us who have other motives to take advantage of peaceful protest to perpetrate evil or push their agendas. I urge all law-abiding citizens and residents of the state to go about their lawful activities. All our security agencies are on high alert, and so peaceful residents of the state have no cause to fear. As a palliative measure, I have directed that the Omitun to mass transit buses should be deployed to more routes within the state for free. We are also working with the local government chairman to see what immediate palliatives we can make available to the most vulnerable amongst us to alleviate the hardship that the twin scarcity of fuel and the Naira have brought upon our people. Once again, we have another opportunity to put an end to oppressive system and that is through the ballot. For now, I urge everyone to remain calm as we are doing our best to mitigate the hardships. God bless Oyo State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.